Tell me what color you're seeing. I personally see blue and black. I see white and gold. No, Shots you're lying. Off. I swear to God. Leave. You like it. <laughs> when you zoomed in, I see white and gold. <gasps> Do you really? <laughs> but it flip flopped for me. Okay, okay, this this is huge. No, I can't believe we're fighting about a trend that happened 10 years ago, <laughs> but I'm ready for it. Okay, hi, welcome back to whatever the hell this is. Oh, sorry. <laughs> It's okay. Uh, <laughs> welcome back to whatever the hell this is. <gasps> what? A fucking mosquito this big just tried to attack me. No, that could give me West Nile virus. Is that big for a mosquito for you? It's I'll, not I'll, the I'll, size I'll, of the I'm mosquito. A, it's oh. the pack it's punching. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I, okay, hold on. Jared, do you have anything traumatic to happen right now? Um, Actually, yeah, you do kind of. <laughs> do I? What? I mean, besides how I fucking look? <laughs> how I look like I gained 40 pounds? <laughs> Oh my God, twins. Yeah. Um, no, <laughs> listen, I think you look good, but let's address the shaved. Yeah, so. No. <laughs> oh my God. Stop sure. it. No, listen. Sure. Oh my God. It was so good. And I know if you meant it, you are an elite comedic genius who I commend. And I say kudos to you, sir. <laughs> And if you didn't mean it, that's a fucking great podcast, baby. That was fucking funny. I like that. Because it really does summarize how I feel. No. I feel like a shaved elephant, no. you know? And the thing is, like we were talking earlier, and anytime people get a haircut, you know, everyone's like, oh, you look so good. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes, oh, you look so much better even like that, you know? It's like, oh, I look like a shit before, but... Uh, everyone that I deal with on a regular basis has not even brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> no one's even said like, no, oh, dude. Right on, you look good. Do you think it's just like, they're almost trying to like not look at me. <laughs> so shout out to everyone. I'm just kidding, but I, am I? No, not really. Listen, okay, well, do you want to explain what happened? Yeah, so I got a new uh, shaving kit and um, I, I wasn't overly familiar with it. It's, it's a little bit more complex than I'm used to, but it's great. And I didn't know that there's different settings for the top of the head than the beard. Oh, no. So I hit it with the quick vertical. <laughs> Ooh. And was hoping it was fake, you know. Ooh. And, uh, it was real. Did you test some things out, like stripes, no, before well, committing to the full shave? No, well, yeah. I mean, it was a big stripe right there, like half of the side of my face. But you could have just connected it. Oh, you could have done a goatee. A goater? I could have <laughs> goated up. I guess I could have goated up, but I was so, oh man, so bummed that I just wanted to get it done because I thought maybe I'll look good. And then I was like, oh, at what angle? I was like, damn, no. player, it ain't no angles, you know? Like, I'm going to have to hey, work this one out. I disagree. <laughs> you sent me a picture um, of you freshly shaven, and you were like, uh, should we cancel the podcast? <laughs> and I actually thought it looked good. I showed Ryan, and I'm like, oh, this actually looks good. It definitely does not look anything like that fucking app. <laughs> 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 yeah. I want to yeah. see. I mean, if anything, oh. we're proving that FaceApp might not always be right. I love that Chris but... wants to see the picture, even though you're standing right <laughs> But yeah. he's not clean shaven here. He's got no, scrub. no, no. It wasn't. It, this okay, isn't yeah, yeah, too yeah. far off. This was like two days ago. Oh, okay. I thought it was. Like, see, yeah. but see, but I'm not gonna lie. This was a little bit of sorcery because I wore a sweater that kind of like shadowed a little bit, you know? Because I'm a little. I didn't. It's a good photo. A little, yeah, a little self conscious no. at first about it. You know it, what you know? I noticed? Okay, this is really weird. But you know what? Let's go there. I think we have the same mouth. <laughs> what? Nice. I never noticed it because it was covered, but I'm looking at like this situation and I'm like, that is like I'm looking in the mirror. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? Look yeah, at his, no, I his get nose, it. his lip, and his mouth. We're brothers. I, that's not too rant. Yeah, that's... But you know what? I will say that we all look good. No, always. Including yeah. your including always. your face. Because I did, like, let's do a little fashion update. Fashion <laughs> update. What they wear and what they wear. Jared, Jared, he's so <laughs> handsome. <laughs> is that what it says? I forgot. And, and people didn't say anything because they were... Jealous of it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. They're jealous. Yeah. So, okay. Can we just talk about what's actually happening? Because I'm trying to like pretend like everything's fine oh. and fake it, and I'm like having tr uh, trouble. Although your face did help. <laughs> <laughs> that reveal did it did lift my spirit. Shaved elephant in the room, um, bruh. So, right before we started filming, like as you know, uh, Chris was setting up, and I was in a meeting upstairs. Uno, uh, our first dog, had a seizure, um, and it lasted, you know, like four or five minutes. We called all the vets while it was happening. We, you know, we're trying to stay calm, but kind of freaking out. And I've been trying to like take these types of things better and be more chill because I, you know, we are gonna have a kid soon and I do wanna like keep things calm and stuff. So 
we took him to the vet and you guys stayed here which like <laughs> I'm just sorry it's all just so crazy We're like thanks for coming gotta go so we went to the vet and uh they said it was going to take a few hours to do some tests but more than likely he'll have to stay there for a few days and get some brain scans i'm trying to stay positive i'm like right right on the edge where like i could just have a full mental breakdown right now but like there's too many people here <laughs> like yeah, I mean, it's honestly probably a good distraction. Obviously, like a lot of times you're in Bakersfield, you're f two plus hours away as well. And since it's going to take this long for Uno to even get what he needs to have done, it's almost better to have this distraction to try to do something. I mean, time is a weird thing and it, I mean, we you can't control it. Yeah, so we're waiting for a phone call. So my phone is on, so we might have to cut the show at some point, but... We're waiting for a call to see if the initial tests have any results. It's like x-rays and stuff. And then, yeah. So I want to, I don't want to like down, be a downer. And I want to like, you know, make, I have this show all prepared and laid out. And I have everything ready to go. Like you guys are here. I want to do this, you know, but if I do seem kind of out of it, uh, that's why. Uh, yeah. I mean, Uno's our firstborn. He has the most special place in my heart. And uh, we just, I mean, hopefully it's a one-off thing. I'm hoping Google's a scary place to look, but I hope it's not something neurologic, what, neuro, whatever, in his brain that isn't reversible. <laughs> Neurological. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Just a thought Thank you. That, prayers for Uno, man. Yeah, yeah. Prayers for Uno. Such a precious dude. Yeah. So, um... Okay. Back to our fashion update. <laughs> what are they wearing? Can I just start by complimenting you on that on your outfit? Thank you. Dude, those buttons match that shirt so perfectly. I thought that the, it was like a one piece thing where the material of the shirt was sewed into it and you wow. just pulled it all over at once. You know what's funny? <laughs> so okay. I'm like trying not to cry. <laughs> oh. But it's just funny because like if if I just start crying right after you compliment <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny. Um, okay, like, really, this check? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, no, listen, I'm trying to elevate shit. I'm trying to take my stylist mission for 2023 up a level, up a notch. Mm. So, like, this was like, you know, we're not going to do goofy costumes. We're going to do, like, fashionable, you know, next level shit. Like, neon, it's back. So, yeah, I mean, I don't neon. know if I'm wearing this to brunch. <laughs> like, this is it, baby. You look like what a punk, what, like, a fashionable person would wear to Easter church yeah you know it's well, fun yeah to like an like la a cool church. christian church or something yeah where, just where they're like goes. doing drugs before cool church christian. there you go but yeah. i'm like super gay and super annoying like you meet this person in public and you run you said it <laughs> <laughs> not me but I, that's I kidding. Really I don't cool. think you look gay and annoying. I think God. both of you look really good, but what do I know? <laughs> well, I hope I do. Okay, Shane, I really like that coat on you, and I'm hoping that you'll wear it, the jacket. Okay. Because it's like, it has a pop of color. It's not just the black denim jacket okay. you've worn for years. Well, where's We're the make, butt? What? It sounds like a butt. Like, is it going to be a butt? Oh, but we got to get rid of the shirt underneath for real, like, for public it, outings. It's a gym shirt for show. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a beef shirt. A gym shirt? You yeah, want to draw gym. that kind of attention to yourself? Oh, Home gym. gym, home gym shirt, okay, yeah. home, home gym, gym shirt. shirt. <laughs> That's a pool shirt. And Chris is like, <laughs> yeah. okay. You're um, skipping right over Chris? Yes, Chris is wearing um, a beautiful uh, purple checkered. I went with purple and green. I we could have like got a steamer colors. up in this house, but whatever. <laughs> we were kind of dealing with a crisis. Yeah. <laughs> I was at the emergency hospital, Shane, so. I love it, thank you. You're welcome. Um, okay, sorry, let me compose myself. Let's get back into it. I want to have fun. I'm excited. We actually have kind of a big thing that I haven't even told you guys is mm. about to happen. So, do you guys remember Cece? How could we forget who her? Who called in. Let me Cece? Get, oh! Let me give you guys a little refresher. This was her voicemail last time. Last night, I just went out on a date and this guy was amazing. 10 out of 10. Phenomenal. We hit it off. Uh-huh. Psychopath. It seems too good to be true. Um, Don't trust him. And I feel like we're, we've already talked about, like, marriage and mm -hmm. kid names and, like, talking about getting married, like, this year. You're gonna be but married we just met last night and we're rushing <laughs> it really hard but it feels right it's not so I just, I don't know. I need advice. Should I? Okay, so. I, I remember this. Can't wait for the update. You two are on the same page and Ryland and I were on the same yeah, page. Yeah, go for it, girl. Yes. Just don't get married. So we, I reached out to her because we tried to call her last time and she didn't answer. Very worried about her. Very worried. Extremely worried. Uh, worried about Uno, but actually more worried about Cece. 
So to full transparency, we recorded that episode a little out of order. We recorded that like three weeks ago, I think. So this is an update. We're about to call CC live <gasps> and uh, we don't know what's going to happen. No, we have no idea what's happening, <laughs> what the update is. It's been three weeks. So she's she's alive. So that's good. She might have um, already been married. Maybe. No, she is. If she's married, she's going to die for you sure. For <laughs> all right. No, I'm all about the fantasizing and having fun exploring. But OK, really quick before we call her. So if you guys want advice or if you want to send us a conspiracy or a Mandela or if you just want to chat to us, uh, call 747-263-2512. Uh, try to keep your message under 30 seconds so we don't have to cut anything out. And um, we got some pretty intense ones, by the way, for this week. Should I? Maybe I should play one before we call CC. <laughs> we got a lot of people confessing to cheating on their partners. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> nice. Which I like. didn't want to play because I'm like, is this real? But also like... Are you just getting off to telling us that you, you're cheating? Right? It's just weird. It is a little bit. Yeah. But thank you for calling. We love you. Yeah, it's a fun story <laughs> nonetheless. <laughs> um, okay, um, before we call CZ. I don't love a cheater, so. But we love a viewer. <laughs> <laughs> we love a supporter. <laughs> so they're supporting multiple people at once. <laughs> you know, they're the biggest kind of supporters. Oh my god. Uh, okay, so this is one of my favorites. I'm gonna play. Yeah. It's a two-parter. Hi, Shane. Um, I am 67 as of today. Hell Today's yeah. my birthday. Happy February second. Yeah. Um, my kids turned me on to you, and I love your podcast. I listen to it all the time. And they wanted me to call in to tell you that I thought your uh, sweatshirts and T-shirts that say grower on them was referring to growing marijuana. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so that was a perfect voice memo. Dude, right? I'm so glad she didn't say I'm cheating on my husband. Or <laughs> That would have been traumatic, dude. I was just thinking a bunch of like kids or like the younger people, but a 60s, that would have been big. That would we been. would have had to take back our happy birthday wishes. Well, hold on. It's a two-parter. Yeah. Hi, Shane. This is uh, Janelle again. I yeah. uh, left the last message about Grower, and I don't know if you got the end of it, but I thought he was referring to growing marijuana. I think she smokes <laughs> marijuana, too. Yeah, I think she smokes marijuana. That. They were... Hooting and a hollering. So I just wanted to tell you that's what happened. Love you. Bye. <laughs> she's so oh cute. God. Shout out to her first off. There's no way she's not baked. <laughs> <laughs> she's a fan of the podcast yes. and probably laughs and like you know maybe doesn't remember everything. That's right. all, that's so cool. <laughs> Happy she's birthday, the Janelle. We love you. Hell yeah. yeah. We're gonna call Absolutely. you at some point, and that we're, we'll just talk. Um, okay. <laughs> now this is an advice question. I'm going to say it. This one's fucking juicy as fuck. Like, this is crazy. <laughs> I hope this one's real. Actually, no, I don't, because it's a it's a breaking up a family. I hope it's oh. fake. Hey, this message is for the Shane Dawson podcast. I need some advice. Um, my 16-year-old son confronted me about seeing my husband having sex with his assistant at their office, and my husband told him that it was a one-time thing and not to tell me, and now I'm not sure if I should confront my husband because I don't want to throw my son under the bus. So please give me some advice. Really not sure how to go about this. Thanks. Bye. Very positive. She's very positive for what's happening. <laughs> Wow. Thanks. <laughs> uh, yeah, I you gotta be honest, man. That's crazy to me that <laughs> she's seeking advice from a podcast <laughs> for this. That's amazing. But we love it. We love I, it. I know. I'm saying this is an honor. Yes. You <laughs> know, it's a huge honor. But, I agree. It was like lawyer or. But us. Um, <laughs> I don't know. To me, I look at it like I don't have kids, but it just seems it, it's kind of unfair for the kid either way, you know? Unfortunately, but here's, I think you got to talk to the, the dude about this. Here's what I will say. This is straight out of an episode of Dawson's Creek season one, the finale, uh, where Dawson walked in and he saw his mom having an affair with her coworker. And then Dawson had to decide, do I tell my dad or do I not tell my dad? And like, it, it was one of those situations. What did he do? I, I honestly don't remember, but it ended bad. Here's the thing, but it ended how it was supposed to end. What was your question? Oh my gosh, wait, confront wait, the motherfucker. Go, wait. I don't care what you have to do. You got to confront him, make yeah. up a lie. I, I, wait, 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 hold on. Can you, okay, wait. So wait, okay. So her, so her husband is cheating on her. Her son saw it happen. He, so now yes. she knows about it. 
Her husband does not know he's been caught. Is that what's happening? Yes, but she doesn't want to tell the husband the son was the one that told on then him. Then don't, don't. No, and that's no. what I'm saying. There's many. You can make up don't. a lie for oh, how. No. Yeah, you don't oh, have. No. You don't yeah. have to snitch out the Hold kid. On. No. Hold on. Maybe you should say that you heard it from the son because if you are cheating on your wife, asshole, dick move. Unless you watch a podcast. Thank you. Uh, no, I'm kidding. If you were cheating on your wife, hopefully she watches it too. Whoever you're cheating on, <laughs> oh that's fucked God. up. That's fucked up. But real talk, grower real, real talk. A lot of you guys aren't subscribed. You're just watching. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, no. The son has his own relationship with the dad. Okay, I know, I know, I know. But real talk, you cheat on your wife. There should be major consequences, right? Yes. This should be a huge life change, a huge thing, right? Maybe also realizing your son is, he's going to be affected by this for the rest of his life. He saw it happen, right? Even if you don't tell your husband that it was your son that saw it, it doesn't matter. He's still going to be dealing with this trauma for his whole life. So I think it's better to deal with the trauma together as a family rather than having more secrets. I think there should be no more secrets, no more lies. So yeah, I think you should have a family sit down talk and I think you should talk about it openly, calmly, and um, and just be honest, no more lies. That's gonna put him, your son in such a weird position. She should, first off, figure out exactly how you feel about the situation before talking to the husband about right. it. Come to grips with what you wanna do here, your next move, all of that. I would try to keep the kid out of it unless, I don't know, it's one of those dynamics, like you said, it's gonna be traumatic. I don't know yeah. the situation, like is if they divorce, I don't know. It's it's a really tough thing, but it started off with someone cheating, which is horrible. So there's no way it's just gonna be pretty in one action. It's gonna be rough no matter what you do, but my only advice would be figure out exactly what you wanna do before you talk to him. And like you said, don't let it linger and don't let it become yeah. more than what it is it's already bad you know yeah. just handle it now and give your husband a chance to really apologize to your son you know like I, I think there should be an apology and yeah so um good luck call us with an update and let us know what happens I'm sorry that we were laughing we're it's just a lot going on today <laughs> It's like we're trying to laugh to not cry. I just love the moment, you know, the fact that someone called in for that advice. It's great. Yeah, Chris. Thank you. I just think it's such a shit, shitty situation. I remember when I got cheated on, I was in therapy. My therapist was telling me that there's very few circumstances where after being cheated on, relationships work out. Like, it's yeah. incredibly rare. And they're like, but in a very rare small percentage of the time people have to go through years and years of couples therapy and it's like excruciating painful few years so you have to decide to do that and love each other more than ever if you're going to stay in it but know that if you're going to stay together it's an incredibly tough road that you're picking and you yeah. probably know in your heart <coughs> what you're willing to forgive or not forgive so i would know that going into confronting him and hope that you could salvage the relationship between the family the best you can even if you know that means you won't be together hey okay sorry to interrupt the show i just slapped my thighs so loud i don't know if you heard that <laughs> Anyways, yes, thank you so much to our first sponsor, which is Displate. Okay, so as you guys already know, we've talked about Displate before. They are the one-of-a-kind metal poster with tons, I think over a million different designs from Marvel to Netflix to games and movies and anything you can think of. They probably have the design for you. But they also have our podcast. Yes, I'm so excited. I showed you guys this last time. We've been putting this in the background of all the podcasts. I love it so much. Even though my teeth are slightly yellow, it's okay. Will I definitely face tune my teeth if we ever do this again? <laughs> Yep, we have solo ones, we have group shots, and uh, yeah, I really love them. And I'm so grateful to Display for wanting to do this, because I don't know, I, you never know. Like, do they want me on their website? Maybe, maybe not. Do they want this to be more of a secret, low-key relationship? No, baby, they went public. They said, we're giving you designs. We're giving you a page. And I said, you know what? Thank you, Display Daddy. Anyways, yes, check them out if you want. I love them. Also, this is a small one. They have different sizes. They have like, I think, a bigger one and an even bigger one. And as you guys know, they're so easy to put up. Literally, you just wipe the wall with a little wipe you put the magnet and then you put the display right on the wall. No holes, no problem with your landlord, no judgment except for people that walk in and see us on your wall. <laughs> and they're also eco-friendly and for every design sold, they will plant one tree, which is awesome. So they're giving you guys some discounts. So let me break it down. If you buy one to two designs, you get 27% off. And if you buy three or more designs, you get 37% off. All you have to do is click on the link in the description below or go to displate.com slash Shane Dawson and use code grower at checkout. Also, let us know if you want us to do another photo shoot like and do more designs. Uh, if you want that, let us know. I have some ideas cooking. I was thinking maybe like, okay, this might be too much, but I was thinking Jared in a bear costume, Chris holding salmon, waving him over, and then me and Ryland by the campfire in the background fighting, throwing it out there. If that's something you want, we can cook it up. If you don't, 
I get it. Oh, and also please keep sending me pictures of you guys with the disc plates in your room or wherever you have them because I love seeing those so much. Uh, Simi Tara posted this one on Instagram. Thank you, Simi, so much. They look so good. You look beautiful. I've known Simi forever. Going on 10 years, she's been such a great friend and supporter of the show. So I love you, Simi. And uh, yeah, let me know. Send them to me. Either like tag me on Instagram or go to shanedawsonpodcast.com at gmail.com and put displate so I can see them in the emails. Um, yeah, okay, sorry, back to the end. So thank you so much, Displate. We appreciate you guys so much. Please go support them, check out the posters, and uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the show. Bye. Well, speaking of relationships that are doomed, <laughs> or that was bad. <laughs> That's not what I meant. It's not, it's not positive it's vibes not, to you. <laughs> thoughts and prayers. It's a, I'm not in my right hip mindset tonight. <laughs> but speaking of relationship problems, let's call CC. Oh my God, this is like a scary. <laughs> it's like a date. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What if she doesn't like us? <laughs> oh, I guess She'll probably want to marry us in five minutes. She doesn't even know. Like <laughs> Hello? Cece. Cece? Yeah. <gasps> oh, Cece! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, so Cece. Oh, my God, yes. So, okay, I'm going to be honest. When we heard your voice memo, we were all very scared. We were like, run, girl, run, because if he's talking about marriage on the first date, he's a serial killer. Get out of there. It's been a few weeks. What's the situation? So, so it's been two weeks and we've been doing great. We have each other's names tattooed on each other. What? Uh, <laughs> what? Cece, what, Cece. what are you doing? This is either the best love story in the entire world or like something tragic. I was happen. almost going to say, as long as you haven't done something like tattooed each other's names <laughs> on each other. Oh, um, yeah, I have. Where's I have it at? Name. It's really big on my arm. In what? He has Cece. a tiny on the back of his arm. Okay, Cece. <laughs> Are you real? Me. Are you, come on. Yeah, Cece, Fantas this is real. Like, talk about building the future together with him all you want, but please just don't marry him within the first year. Give it 12 months. Come on, girl. Yeah, we all agree Wait, on that point. Can you explain? You think I should? Have yeah. you been like, married before? Like, has he proposed? No, he's you guys are asking too many no, questions. No, not yet, but he's talked about it. <gasps> you have and to like, wait a year. It, everything's, it's just, I don't know, everything's moving so fast and we're so in love and we're already talking about getting eloped and baby names. Uh, the other day he like definitely was like, oh, I hope this works. I hope you get pregnant. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this yeah. Is this real? Yeah. Cece. Cece. Have you met his family? We need to do like yeah. some people checks. Yes, yes. So the first week I met his entire family and he met my entire family and everything's super good. There's like no red flags. I'm so <laughs> I have four questions, real quick questions. Four CC. questions. Four, CC. <laughs> Question number one: Is this person? Uh, I, I don't know how to say it, but have they been a U.S. citizen their whole life? Yes. Okay. Uh, woo, yeah, they're not me using me to get into the country. <laughs> okay. No, that's a good. Okay. Okay. I watch a lot of 90 Day Fiance. Maybe that's on me. <laughs> two. Oh two. No, like it. Really Financially, is are you like perfect connection? Are you balling out of control? And maybe he's not. I wouldn't say that. No. Okay. Good. Okay, good. 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 Um, did, have you ever been married or has he ever been married? No. Okay. Good, okay. Good, good, good. We're okay. Both, we're both 22 and 23. We're young. Ooh. Okay. 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 So I was going to ask how old you guys are next. That's a little bit young. Have you guys? Okay. Someone else has a question. Okay. Here's what I will say though. I don't want to judge. Because like Titanic's my favorite movie of all time, <laughs> and Jack and Rose were very young. Granted, if Jack didn't die, would they have stayed together? I don't know. But, you know, <laughs> it was a good love story. So, how did you guys meet? So we matched on a dating app, and I, I, we met up for dinner literally that night. And I texted him. The first thing I said to him on the dating app was, "When are we getting married?" And he says, "I oh, thought we already were." CC, CC, hey. no, it's fun. CC, no. come on. No, 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 no. no. Listen, this I, I stand for that kind of flirting. I think it's fun. I just, yeah. I, Was it meant to be fun? Yeah, yeah. it's always good fun. Okay, okay. Um, okay. But so, it just, it seems too good to be true because there's really a genuine connection there. Like everything's been so perfect, it's almost weird. But that's I, what I, I'm like. Not getting married isn't gonna ruin your fun. So I say, get engaged, live it up, have fun, and don't get married for at least a year and a half. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Ryland and I, I think we're slightly less cynical about this. Even we agree that this is something that you have to wait a year. I'm someone who falls in love fast and very hard. And, yeah, uh, I do that too. And uh, and I, th I think this could be sweet and nice, but uh, you definitely, like, you have to wait a year for, for the marriage. Okay, and, yeah. I'm gonna be your truthful, honest friend, okay? Yeah, please. You, uh -huh. Girl, you need to run. No! <laughs> no, <laughs> you need to get a tattoo if his name looks like like any other word, maybe change a tattoo to that word and run. Because 
If it's if it's that intense in the first two weeks, like a flame, the only thing that could happen is the flame will start to sizzle out. Mm. Like it happens too fast. What if oh. this is like the best love story in the world no, though? We have to Ryland, hold out hope. Me and Ryland didn't like each other no, for the wait, first wait. four dates. Is are you his, are you his first girlfriend? <laughs> no, 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 no. So when you when you and Ryland met, was it like if you know, you know? Like is it one of those situations that's like that's how it feels when you know, you know it's your person? I I know what you mean. I mean, I had a weird psychic feeling where I was like, okay. I I think I'm marrying this person, but I'm not like, it's not love at first sight. I don't even think he <laughs> likes me very much. <laughs> took a few dates. Well, okay. If anything, you, okay. On top of my, you have to wait it out a year. You also have to live with this man before you marry him. Yeah. Because you learn a lot uh, about somebody when you marry someone. Agreed. Yeah. Is he like living with Or when you live moment? with someone. Like, did he move in? <laughs> is like, he what? there right now? Yeah. Is he there right now? So, so I'm at his place right now. He's sleeping. <laughs> But no, we live separately so far, okay. but he's already talked about looking for a job closer to me um, since I do live an hour away from him. Yeah, I mean, I stand by wait a year because if a year goes by and this is just an incredible love story, the love will have blossomed and, and only grown stronger and, you right. know, that'll be great. But if a year goes by and there is the unfortunate truth and chance that it it may be what Shane's saying where it's, it's happening too fast and then it potentially ends. I mean, at least you wouldn't have been married by then. Yeah. There's no bad yeah. situation that comes from you waiting. Yeah. I have a, I have a couple. Yeah. I, have a, I just have okay. a few screening questions, Cece, as like a family member of mine, which is I'm considering you. Um, I'm just going to ask a few questions about your man. Uh, does, okay. does he enjoy risky activities like, you know, driving really fast or, you know, skydiving or anything risky? <laughs> Yeah, but so do I. Okay. Well, you know, <laughs> you guys are I, so fun. I, I was always to be you. I was always told I mean, everybody's crazy. You got to find the crazy that works for you, Cece. Yeah. I think you and this dude might be the same kind of crazy. <laughs> you know, <laughs> real when talk. I said I wanted, and, and, when I said and, I wanted his name, he was like, "Oh, I'll get your name like right now." The only thing, it. the only I was thing, like, oh. The only thing I could say is I could talk with a British accent for three weeks. It don't mean I'm British, you know? So, like, give it a little bit more time and just see, because anyone could be whatever you want them to be for two weeks, three yeah. weeks, a month. I think that's why I do agree. Give it some time, all that stuff. But if you guys are both just kind of, like, crazy and it, it, it's about being, you know, the same crazy and you guys dig each other, maybe you just do it, you know? But you can't fully yeah, know a person. Do Why not? And I'm saying, and, and I'm saying in a positive way. I don't. I'm not saying it negatively. It just sounds like you guys are uh, weird in the same ways. I so, like it. Okay. Is he ever like? Have you? been to a restaurant with him yeah how does he treat the waiter good very very gentleman like every time he goes to my family's house he shakes my dad's hand every single time okay okay and you've never had any like be brutally honest with yourself there's been no moments where you're like uh is there something off he's like a little too good to be true there's something off yes the whole thing feels too good to be true we instantly met and we just hit it off like we've known each other for years and we're like best friends so here's my thought and i'm gonna try not to be like funny about this because just as a real thought like if you get married and you're legally bind to him and then the mask starts to slip so maybe you should just enjoy it have fun get engaged that's fine that's not legal but yeah i would definitely wait a year okay but don't sure. slow down the fun keep but having fun yeah keep having fun yeah. but also send pictures of him to all your friends with his name and everything so in case something happens or you go missing they know who to go to um <laughs> Okay. <laughs> send it to me. Send it to the show. Have and, your best um, friends on Find My Friends. Yes. Don't and get seriously. pregnant. And also, like, listen, like, not to exploit the situation, but if at some point he wants to come on the show too, I would love to have a whole therapy session. <laughs> Wake his ass up, Cece. <laughs> Wake this dude up. No, I'm kidding. But we're all on your side, and we just want you happy, okay, Cece? But okay, but you, you will wait so the year, right? Are you gonna wait a yes, year? Yes, I will wait. Hell no, they're getting Thank married you. like Thursday. It's, I can tell. That's so important. <laughs> and if you get married, Cece, don't hide this from us. <laughs> don't you dare. Keep okay, us posted. Okay, I will let you know for sure. But I will be disappointed in you. Don't say mm -hmm. that. If she gets yeah, married, that's no, rough. I'm what, saying, okay, I'm saying, have no. Cece, a year before than any of these. Married. Cece, listen, do not have a child with somebody that you have a gut feeling that maybe it's too good to be true. I feel like that's a not, not a good idea. Okay, be don't safe, have, Cece. Don't have a baby just yet, Don't Cece. have a baby yet. Not, not until we call you back and we see how it's going in like a month or something. Or like me you and Ryland are looking for a baby, so like maybe. Oh my God! <laughs> uh, okay, Cece, keep us- my firstborn. Yeah. Does he have a strong jawline? No, I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs>
Keep us posted, okay? Please, please keep us posted. Okay, thank you guys so much. We love you. Right, we love you, CZ. Stay safe. Love you. Okay, bye. bye. Oh my God, she's doomed. I love her though. <laughs> she's she's doomed. I gotta be honest, my and girl. I mean this again. It's not. The, it's, it's no negative. I think they're both just a little bit wacky, you know? And like, I think I'm pretty wacky. I think my wife has a little bit of wackiness to her and like we compliment each other. Maybe they fit nicely. You gotta love somebody I'm that's worried though. You know willing to live in a little up. worried. You gotta like that, but they're still young. If the, if she said she was in her like mid to late thirties, I was like, okay, you just know. Being that young though, I do. You know, we'll I'm see. horrified. Every documentary <laughs> I've seen, every video I've seen about psychopaths and narcissists, every scary movie I've seen, this is how it starts. <laughs> I'm nervous for CC. CC, keep us posted. I don't know what to do. I feel like we did not help. I want to like save her. I want to run to her house and take. Well, her, you know, I I I want I want to throw this out there. Okay. Okay. I think it's very important that we talk to this guy too. Just because. Should we be worried about this dude? Yeah. Whoa. Because I'm all about it. I'm all Don't about flip this maybe no 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 no. Twist. Maybe there's one person in the relationship that's a little cuckoo for cocoa puffs. I don't know. But like I think it's only right that maybe we reach out to the guy as well. Just yeah. to see. What is he, he you know? What he is sounded he, a little fun. What if he's like what if he's like listen like she won't leave my house dude she just said she said marriage before they met and she's the one that brought up getting the tattoo this is too much i'm gonna call her back okay <laughs> call cc dude wait that's why i said wait this guy up i was prepared wow. to see if he's okay because he's just asleep can i just and she's say, talking all loud about it starting a phone number and doing this it has really changed the game <laughs> yeah totally <laughs> this is next level wow yeah. i love this if you guys have it well no now are people gonna call and lie and make up crazy no things? don't Please do don't that lie. if we find lie. out you're lying to us but if it's a good story no, right. I mean, <laughs> maybe no. there should be a disclaimer. If it's under 30 you know? seconds, come on. Right. <laughs> um, okay, we're going to take a quick little break. And when we come back, conspiracies. No. <sighs> hey, okay. Welcome back. Welcome back. You are already here. Welcome me back. Hi, I'm back. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm saying. I've had a lot of Baja blasts, which by the way, side note, this was not supposed to be a sponsorship for my cup, but the cup is available and the shirt, but I've been getting a lot of Baja blasts at Taco Bell. Not a good idea for my Baja ass, but I've been getting a lot of them and they were making my hands cold. And then I looked at my cup and I realized it's the perfect Baja Blast holder, baby. And it keeps the Baja Blast cold. This was not sponsored by me or Taco Bell. What am I doing? Ridge Wallet. Thank you, Ridge Wallet, for sponsoring this episode. I know what you're thinking, Shane. How can you talk about Ridge again? What are you going to say? We already know. You've already told us everything. You already told us they have RFID blocking technology, which will keep you safe from getting digital pickpocketed at the airport or out in public. You've already talked about the fact that it can hold up to 12 cards with room for cash. You've already talked about the colors and the designs that you love, the burnt titanium, that orange one you bought. You've already talked about all of it, right? No because they sent me this wallet. And when I opened this wallet, first of all, I was mad because I was like, wait, I've been buying these. They can send these to me. So anyways, <laughs> that was my first thought. My second thought was, oh my God. I don't know how to pronounce this name. It's called Burnt Damascus. This color, let me show you. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my whole life. And I'm not exaggerating. I'm not just saying this. Oh my God. It is stunning. It is burnt titanium, but it has this like beautiful, like 3D beveled design of like, I don't know what that is. Is it a tree? I don't know. But this is so beautiful. Taking this out in the sunlight is insane. I love this so much. It's my new favorite. I love my orange one, but this is my new favorite. So thank you so much to Ridge Wallet for sending me this. And if you guys want to check this out or any of their other designs, go to ridge.com slash grower and you can save 10%. And they have so much more than just wallets. They have key cases. They have a lot of other things, but the wallets are incredible. I love them so much. And obviously, as always, they have the lifetime warranty and you can test drive the wallet for 99 days. And if you don't love it, you'll send it back and get a full refund. But trust me, you will love it. So thank you so much to Ridge Wallet for sponsoring the episode. And uh, yeah, go check them out. Show them some love and I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Bye. Okay, that's enough Baja for me. Okay, speaking of voicemails, I got a Mandela Effect voicemail. Let's take a listen. Hi, Shane. I have a Mandela Effect. Um, the robber emoji never existed. All right, I love you so much. The robber emoji never existed. So then I looked it up. I will say I've never used it. But you don't know, you've never seen the emoji that had the little little cap, the little goggles, the little money bag. And then there was another version of it where it was running. I specifically remember the robber emoji. I feel like it's been around forever, but it never existed. Well, it looks like it did, just it didn't have all that stuff on it. Or did they draw all that? They draw all that. That, that they just took a normal emoji and drew it. Uh... But I looked up robber emoji and I saw like a bunch of hmm. other versions of it. 
So I'm just, I guess there's, yeah, another theory is that there's a bunch of things about this online. And there's none on the iPhone right currently? In my brain, I've seen some version of it, but maybe I've also downloaded apps with like emojis from those apps. They got um, me with that one. I, don't, I mean, I f it looks like a familiar figure in an emoji I don't know though. Well, I definitely remember, okay, just to be honest, I remember that emoji because back when I did the conspiracy palette, everybody's like, cash grab, cash grab. They were, I remember them using the robber emoji. Like, cash grab, Shane's robbing us, cash grab. Like, I remember that. So my trauma, <laughs> trauma. is tri my trauma <laughs> is triggered by that emoji that never existed. So did my trauma never exist? Mandela effect? I never had PTSD. <laughs> Huge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. Talk amongst yourselves. Did the robber emoji ever exist? Um, okay, now this isn't really a theory. It's more just me being angry and upset. So we've been doing a lot of audio illusions. And today I wanted to switch things up and do some optical illusions. Mm, my favorite. I'm sure a lot of these are things that you've probably already seen in like third grade, but <laughs> I have not seen them. So when I saw a video, it was on Wired, and it was a neuroscientist talking about uh, different uh, illusions. I was freaking out. So I'm going to show you a few of my favorites. Jared, you've definitely seen all of these before, probably. Nice. Um, but, okay, here we go. So this one is a picture of dots with a black hole in the middle. But if you look at it, it looks like the black hole is constantly growing and like you're being swallowed into oh. it. Isn't that crazy? I don't know why the visual ones like affect my whole body, whereas the audio ones are just like... Mm -hmm. It literally, it's like we're falling into an ass. Chris, do you not see it? <sighs> I think I'm broken. <laughs> You really don't see it? It doesn't do anything to me. If you stare without blinking, it's not moving. You really don't see it? I'm broken. Oh my god, no, what if you're not broken? What if you're a superhero? <laughs> I think I'm just broken. <laughs> okay, well then, second question. Oh my god, now I'm excited because now I feel like there's a mystery going on with Chris's brain. Um, okay, so this one, <laughs> this one tripped me out. So this is a picture of a cylinder and there's a checkerboard under it. Now you see the checker that has the uh, letter A and yeah. the checker that has the letter B? Okay, those are the same color checkers. What? No, they're not. Yes, they are. Is that crazy? Wait, no, they're, it says so, who? It's, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll prove it. So I'm opening up Instagram and I'm gonna take the little dropper and I'm putting it on A, right? And now I'm gonna take that little same dropper and I'm gonna put it on B. No way. Same color. Oh, if you want even more proof, ready? That's, that's A, that's B. Shut the fuck. I zoomed in. <laughs> no way. Isn't that crazy? What's craziest is even with all that proof, I still don't believe you. <laughs> well, it's because of the colors next to them, and, and it's very cool. Yes, it's the way that the colors work, the shadows, it tricks your brain, and it makes you think that you're looking at two different things. Isn't that crazy? That one tripped me out for like a while. I really thought God was fucking with me. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, this one, I mean, this one is, I actually remember this from third grade, but it still shook me a little bit. <laughs> so these arrows, which one do you think is longer? Middle. Yeah, you would say middle, right? Yeah. They're all the same. I hate, I hate. Isn't that crazy? It's just the ends of them that make you think the middle one is, you know, Can you pull out the ruler? <laughs> oh, right. There's a ruler on the phone. <laughs> if, if you actually just look fine, at fine, it. Fine, fine, I'll take your word for you, it. You can whatever. see the points of the top arrow match up oh. with where the other arrow flows. No, oh but the one on the right gosh. doesn't. You're proving yourself wrong. The one on the right it doesn't match because it's off just a little bit to the right <clears throat> but it is the same size yeah it's just moved um, i don't okay. know now i'm sorry uh, to be on right let's <laughs> listen wired would not lie to us a neurologist right neuroscientist would not lie to us um okay now this is just stupid but i thought it was funny this has caused a fight with me and right <laughs> so you guys know that you know the the oh. biggest visual illusion of all time is that stupid fucking dress so triggered by this <laughs> I wonder whoever took that picture. If they're just like, wait, what are you guys saying right now? Imagine taking that picture. I've gotten into heated, That's iconic. heated debates with people over well, this. What are like you guys my friendship and Ryland debates. almost like broke up over this. So, Cece, maybe, good luck. Maybe we shouldn't talk about this. Yeah, okay. Cece, show them do this picture. What color? <laughs> Evidently, that's a test. Tell me what color you're seeing. I personally see blue and black. Okay. Same Zs. Thank God. Me too. Chris? I see white and gold. No, Shut you're lying. Up. I swear to God. Leave. See, this is the thing that blows my mind. I'm like, there's zero black in the whole image. In what world? Okay, Wait, like, now we're on the same page. You don't see blue. Yeah, you used to see white and gold. Too. I, I could you kind of see, see like. An, <laughs> when you zoomed in, I see white and gold. <gasps> Do you really? What? You don't see blue? Okay, you're crazy. I, I no. can see an off, like like a little hint it's of a blue. Literally royal blue. You're like crazy. a hint Wait, of a blue on the white. I want to see. Oh it's like my god. The bluest thing. But the gold. gold is like couldn't be more gold. Like you're there's no world where that's. Not I just want to throw something out there, guys. To the left of this dress is very obviously a cow print something with white in it. And next to the blue, it looks 
very much different. Like white would be the color to the bottom right or the bottom left. How is that? How is that the same color well, at all? That's just overexposed image. Well, you yeah, but what? overexposed Hold creates on. white. Hold on. Now all I can see is white and gold. This is okay. so fucked up. See? I just, but it flip flopped for me. Okay. Okay. This this is huge. No, I'm doing. We're we're gramming this. This I'm, is huge. I'm bringing this up on no, Instagram. For, for the record, I'm not saying I'm right. I'm just saying my brain maybe sees you're color blind. Zero black. Okay. And Ready? I'm and I'm not. I've been okay. tested. Oh my god, it's white. Here's the it is, thank you. That's blue. Thank you. I mean, that's the lightest blue I've ever e seen exactly. in my life. Exactly. Exactly. Hey, just uh -huh. to clarify real quick. So you're acknowledging that that is a very light blue? No, I okay, what I I can understand why someone would call it blue because it looks like there's like a, a tint of like a cast of something of Man. blue, but it looks like We're the dress is white. We're not worried about you understanding us, Wait, dude. Can you I'm worried about the, how you're seeing look white. Look at Lex. Stop, stop fighting! <laughs> <laughs> Look at the paint. Yes. What do you see? That looks like more blue. Yes, that's the color of the dress. I dropped it. Rylan, what do you see? In which part? Okay, I'm done. <laughs> but there's no black. Where's well, black? Okay, ready? This is the dress. What do you see? And wow. there I see black. That's black. There and I white. see blue or and black. black. But in First the image, all, I worry I about society. I can't sometimes. believe we're fighting about a trend that happened ten years ago. <laughs> but I'm ready for it. Okay, what do you? What? I'm just. I wasn't planning on doing this, but we're going there. <laughs> what colors? is that sneaker teal and gray blue and gray yeah well teal yes if you're more fluent in color than just the basics thank you it, yeah teal and gray i say it's teal, a, sure, okay. Yeah. okay to me it's clearly a pink shoe with white what? the picture is like kind of weird lighting where is pink yeah where are you seeing in what pink? world is there pink in that uh, <laughs> that basket because, next to you is pink because that's the actual shoe what but not in the photo yeah no, no, that's, that's, a, that's, that's, that's because there, in the dark. That's because there's a reflectant on the shoe. That's some shoes do that when you take pictures of. Them. But in the photo, it doesn't look pink, right? Yeah, I mean, yes. it's, it's reacting know, to. Jared agrees. Okay, you know what it is. <laughs> this is actually surprising because you, your job is literally to know this. It's. <laughs> It's literally yeah. when you're color correcting and you're like you're like upping the black and boosting things and whatever. It kind of changes mm. everything. It, to me, it looks like you know the temperature is a little shifted and it's whatever. But I see pink. I'm like, oh, it's pink. But we need to we need to take down the blue. I see a not a so percentage just of pink. Screwing with us now on so, Photoshop. So well, I feel bad for you guys. I really. <laughs> well, then do 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 the swipe test. I, yeah, do the swipe test. You're gonna look real dumb on this one, Shane. <laughs> There's no way in hell that's gonna be pink. Well, no. Okay. It's caused like the biggest fight we've I ever. I can had. see what you're saying. But you're saying you're able to, in your head, distinguish that something has happened to an image to make it that color. Yes. Yeah, and I, I can. But with the just previous off site, looking at it, do you acknowledge that it does look teal and gray in this picture? So yes, I <laughs> see that when you do the dropper, it's gray, right? And maybe I'm broken. Yeah, you are. Or maybe I'm a genius. <laughs> But I see a pink and white shoe. You're lying. That's to been us. that the filter's fucked up. I do see remnants of pink in like the front portion, like the toe portion. But like that's what I'm saying. When you're looking wow. at it, you're like editing it in your head. I can't do that. Interesting. All right, maybe I'm just a you know. You're a genius. A genius. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think maybe there are different types of brains that focus on certain things. That is interesting that we had a whole absolute <laughs> literal blowout fight over it. Um, <laughs> I'd like to murder somebody to get my point across with that, but I'm glad we talked about it. Here's the conclusion. The dress is blue and black, and then the shoe is pink. It's literally a pink shoe. It's a pink shoe. Facts. That's the facts. Sure. That's the fucking mirror right there now, reporting the news. <laughs> okay, that's now, real. Now, what do you see? Maybe you see a teal and gray shoe, and that's cool, but it's <laughs> actually a pink shoe. Moving on. Uh, this is something that I don't think we'll fight over because I think we'll all agree how stupid it is. So the KFC logo. Now, I wasn't on the internet when this went viral because I was canceled and I wasn't looking at my phone. But two years ago, this went viral because they said, you'll never see the KFC logo the same again. If you think about it as a KFC man with a tiny stick figure box. <laughs> oh, just to Whoa. attest to that, I have seen that before, okay. and I can never see it again without thinking it's a dude with a little body. Really? So yeah, it's true. Wow, it's true, guys. That's this is gonna genius. ruin ruin KFC's logo for That's you, or make funny. it way better. I wow. would like to say it's better. <laughs> it's it'll, funny. En it'll enhance your. How experience. did I never see that? How I don't did know. how? I, I don't know. I guess the girl that posted this on Twitter, it was her like child, like her like four year old or five year old that was like, "Why is his body so little?" <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny. <laughs> um, okay, this next one actually. Okay, it's sound. You're gonna start out by saying Shane, you're stupid, but then you're gonna be like, wait a minute. So this mm. is another thing that went viral. If you look at a duck's beak, it looks like the duck's beak 
is the mask of a dog. Now it looks like a Dogecoin. <laughs> oh my god, it literally does. Like the no, but look. Okay. Wow. Look. Wow. That's don't you see the ain't nothing dog? stupid about that, dude. Okay. You don't yeah. see it yet? Do you see it now? No, I see it. Whoa. Okay, wait. Maybe, been, yeah. maybe, maybe you need a little more proof. Look at it barking. Do people collect dog <laughs> look at it. That looks like a literal mask. Yeah, I see it. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> so cute. Aww. Dude, wow. ducks are the best. Ducks are they're so waterproof. Pretty. They're waterproof. Yeah, they have a, a coating of wax on yeah. their top feather so they don't get wet. Jared's nature facts. <laughs> yeah. They're always wearing a raincoat. Yeah. Okay, Raycon. First of all, thank you guys so much for not making fun of my last Raycon ad where I showed myself running on the treadmill because I, I instantly regretted that. But you know what? I wanted to keep it real. I wanted to show you me using them in my real life. And um, I wanted to just be vulnerable with you guys. Also, thank you for not reading me on my outfit. Just all of it was a mess, except for the Raycons. So as you guys know, Raycon is premium audio at the perfect price point. So you can build great habits without breaking the bank. So obviously there's a lot of benefits. They're very well priced. I think they're half the price of most of the other types of premium headphones out there. And they're very easy to use, especially if like you're on the treadmill or you can't like grab your phone and click to the next song or turn down the volume. Like it all is done with ear taps. They also have awareness mode, which is really good if you're like taking a walk or you're out shopping or something and you don't want to be completely closed off. You can turn on awareness mode and you can still hear everything around you, but still have perfect audio. Also, they're just beautiful. So I've been using the Rose uh, gold ones, but these blue ones, they come in this beautiful little pearl blue case. And then when you open them up, they're just so cute. The inside is blue. Sorry, there's dog hair on it. My dogs are huge fans. And yeah, they're beautiful and they're very easy to use. They're so easy to just put in your ear. They also come with different size tips so you can make sure you get the perfect fit. And once again, the price is so low, it's insane. Like you can get two Raycons for the price of one unnamed pod. You know what I'm trying to say. So please go check out Raycon, get some headphones of your own. So Raycon is giving you guys a discount. So if you go to buyraycon.com slash grower, they'll give you 15% off of your Raycon order. That's buyraycon.com slash grower to get 15% off of your order today. So thank you so much Raycon for supporting the show. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy them and uh, hopefully you enjoy the rest of the show. This is the last time you're gonna see me. I miss you already. Wait, don't leave. No, okay, you can go. Okay, moving on to the next thing that we're gonna fight about, but hopefully not. Mm. Uh -oh. um, I'm gonna show you a clip, and I just wanna like show you this and see how it makes you, you know, what you're thinking about it. The video also shows Spot being kicked. A bit mean, but presumably to demonstrate it's you. Okay, so how did that make you feel just now? Sad when he kicked it. Sad, right? Yeah. Kind of sad? Yeah. Why? It's a fucking robot. Cause, it's cause a it's fucking abuse. robot. This is why we're all gonna die from AI. <laughs> Because they have literally tricked our emotions. Because I felt sad the first time I heard it too. I'm not going to lie, even sad just now. And But it's also because our dog's in the hospital. Let's not talk about Aww. it. But literally, same. I felt sad. And then I was like, wait a minute. Why am I sad? It's a fucking robot. It doesn't have any feelings. The AI is so good at, at tricking our brains to feel bad for it. Like, they're taking over, baby. Yeah, but they're it's a triggering over. event. I think it says more about the person. Because, like, a certain type of person will be like, oh, this isn't real, so now I can kick in and be awful to it. Like how some people start, like, cursing to Siri and just being awful to Siri because they're like, it's not a real person. Now I can be as terrible as I really want to be. I think it, like, shows your true colors in a way. But you not feel, you, but you don't, but you feel bad for the robot dog. It's, I it's, do. It's a manipulated movement because if you look at when he kicks the dog they've obviously trained this robot to react like a dog would because right. if, if he kicked it and it just bounced or something then it'd be like oh that's how i would expect a robot to react but they well, make it very realistic realistic and this is the problem right so yeah. when robots happen right because that's going to happen when there's robots everywhere they're going to be fighting for their rights they will because they're ai and they're smart and they're going to say we have feelings too we're robots we're ai and they're going to do shit like this and to manipulate us and make us be like oh my god wait a minute and then when we this start walking away they're going to I would yes. say they've also set me up if cartoons ever take over the world. What? <laughs> you know, if you think about it, yes. if you think about it, I'm thinking because I've cried maybe during a cartoon. Yes. What the fuck am I crying right? for? Right. They're just cartoons. Pixar is planning to take over the world. It's the emotional dude. VR is gonna be crazy. VR. <laughs> the metaverse. We ain't ready for it. Well, okay. Speaking of that, now I've kind of already given away the. I've already blown my load on this. I should have shown you this first, but I saw this video on Instagram. It had like 50 million views. And I was like, why does this video of this weird lady have like 50 million views? 
And it's outside of a Louis Vuitton. Lady. I think that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> More than not. It's outside of a Louis Vuitton and it's a lady and she's like painting, you know, fucking weird shit on the glass. And then after like four times watching it and I went to the comments, it's a fucking robot. Whoa. And I'm like this, that's a robot? That woman? You know what's crazy? Wow. If someone walked up and punched that in the head, I would have no feelings. <laughs> <laughs> I think I feel more watching an animal get hit. Are you? Are we you sure know? that's a robot? Yes. Yeah. I mean, look at that. she's tweaked out of her fucking mind. I walked look by a that. Louis Vuitton, didn't see a robot. Where can I go see this robot exhibit? I don't know. But yes, that is a robot. And then I started thinking like Megan. Megan is really, you know, what's it called? Predictive programming. Megan is really priming our brains and getting us ready for what's going to happen. There are going to be robots that look like Megan. They're sickening. Everybody on TikTok is like, yes, queen, slay mama, stab me, bitch. <laughs> and guess what? She will. She will. She'll take over. If they make one that just picks up dog poop, I'd be interested. Yeah. And danced. Yeah. You know, I just want like specific things to be uh -huh. done by these robots. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're taking over. We're all going to die. We have no chance. I've We're always fucked. been worried about it since Terminator. Like it's happening. AI is happening. What? It's coming. They make movies about it. And it's kind of a joke. Ha ha ha. Yeah. LOL. But it's like, it's real. I'm yeah. hoping we'll just be dead before we realize it's happened. Dude, have you, <laughs> have you seen Westworld? <laughs> have any of you guys seen yes. Westworld? Yeah. About that the robots. could be real. That could all be real. Wow. Well, okay, on a happy note, I have a new conspiracy section I want to try out because mm. uh, we do a lot of little food conspiracies that aren't really conspiracies, but they are fun and they involve food and taste tests. So we need a name. Let us know in the comments if you have any ideas. Uh, Jared, do you have any ideas? So it's like, you know, conspiracies involving food, like, you know, like the Yoohoo thing we did or the Skittles drink we did. Like, what's like a fun segment name? Like, a, what's that taste? Or like, you know, my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> What's, What's in, in my, my mouth? <laughs> what is in my mouth? You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you have any ideas? L let me let me think about okay, that. Mary. I like it. Okay, so the first theory that we have prepped up is I have two glasses of red wine here for Ryland because you're a wine drinker. So tiny sips, and I just want you to tell me, yeah, a little swirl. Tell me the difference between those two red wines. Well, sips. I can already tell you this one looks funky. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, just sips. What the fuck's going on here? That one is a sleeping pill. <laughs> <laughs> no, it tastes like Just Nyquil. kidding. What Claimer. the fuck is this? It's red wine. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. If you just drugged me with <laughs> Why would I do that? Conspiracy. Okay. Conspiracy, it's the only way. This is wine. <laughs> this is something fucked up. Okay. <laughs> So you have now debunked what's in my mouth. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> because the one, this is also something I saw online that the scientists swore by, and he's a liar, I guess. But the one, it even smells disgusting. <laughs> I want to try it. Try it. Okay. Can I? I? Are or you a could, wine drinker? We could do yuck. I like wine. Okay. Yeah. So try that red wine and tell me what you think of it. We could do yuck or yup. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I agree. It smells and looks weird already. God, you look so fancy. I mean, did you guys aerate it properly, though? I mean, are we doing this right? Let's give it a chance. It really doesn't taste like red wine. I don't know. I could see a world where it's like very cheap, weird, awful wine. But okay. There's well, no way. It's also that. So the theory is about colors, right? And how colors can change our taste and change our brains and how we're all kind of like brainwashed by colors. So the theory was that if you took a glass of white wine and a glass of red wine, and if you colored the white wine with food coloring to make it look like red wine, you would think that they're both red wine. But it didn't work. <laughs> oh, so that is so th wine. This is white wine, and yeah, and food coloring does taste like shit. So I, we probably should have colored it in a different way. But yes, Whoa. so that okay. is white wine colored red. I Dude, should've... who the hell thought of something so stupid? Like <laughs> they think red wine and white wine is because of food coloring. Red wine and white wine. They're supposed to taste very different, but yeah. people are very crazy about it. Like, I'm wow. a white wine drinker. I'm only a red wine. But if you color them the same, your brain wouldn't even know. I guess I'm just saying because, like, visual, your eyes are the only thing that, and your touch are the only things you don't taste with. You really uh, only taste with your scent and your Well, uh, and that's why they were buds. saying they could potentially fool us. I think what I got it, though, is when you swirl it around. I shouldn't have swirled it so yeah. hard. Because you can see a little discoloration when you swirl. <laughs> it looks and you purple. Still drink it. <laughs> no, it looks purple. That's a lot of that's, trust, man. That's, Shout trust. Out. that's marriage. That's Shout marriage. Out. Well, here's my my second follow up question. Speaking of colors and food, this pissed me off the other night. I actually filmed like a lot of rage videos talking about this, and I never posted them because I really was raging out at 3 a.m. about this. Think of the color red, right, as a candy. Mm. What flavor is that? Peppermint. Strawberry. Yeah, stra <laughs> strawberry raspberry. The color red? <laughs> strawberry candy? watermelon? Really? It represents the big three. <laughs> strawberry, cherry, watermelon. Okay, this so this is also flopping because every other person I talked to about this was like cherry. Or cinnamon. 
<laughs> Which is always, that's like picking up a fucking warm milk. Okay, yeah. well then never mind. I'll still say it anyways. So basically, when I think of a red candy, I think cherry. When I think of a yes. pink candy, I think... Watermelon. Strawberry. <laughs> I think a strawberry, but like a milky strawberry. Like, like a, a cream. strawberries and cream, right. yeah. Well... As a society, maybe not in this room, but as a society, <laughs> red candy, like whether it's Jolly Rancher or whether it's a sucker or a Tootsie Pop, red is always cherry, pink is always strawberry, uh, watermelon is always a weird mix of like, you know, half green, half pink, whatever. Then I started thinking like, why? Who made up that decision? And why does my brain do that? Who decided that? And it made me very angry, which then led me into another arena, which is my favorite flavor, blue raspberry. Blue raspberries don't exist, <laughs> not a thing. It's a manufactured flavor by a candy company that now all the candies use, and it's literally not real. Even on the packaging where they had little blue like raspberry thing, that's fucking bullshit. It's not fucking real. So I found out, do we have the blues? Okay, so here are some blue raspberry push pops. My oh fave. my gosh, we're so blessed. <laughs> <laughs> it's Gross. a grower. <laughs> Oh, dude, it Whoa. just shoots Whoa. up at you. You don't like, even... Wow. Whoa. They don't even... Dude, I don't anything. want to eat this. <laughs> Wait, this is amazing. Hold on. Wow. The best fucking flavor of all time. It Bitch, shoots don't up. Get me started. So on the packaging, you see blue raspberry. Oh, yeah. They had little raspberry, like blue little raspberry, whatever. Now, here's what I learned, which freaked me out. Dude, this feels very fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I know with what? the shave face. Super, well, no, no, that but it's like a spring, so like watch just for the sake of the video. <laughs> why I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> because it goes up and it does like it does it itself. Look, yeah. why did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> this okay. has to be expensive to manufacture. So blue raspberry <laughs> is not a real flavor, right? It's manufactured. So before I tell you what it is, what do you taste? Now, I know it tastes like blue raspberry. It's delicious. But pretend like it's not blue raspberry. Do you get any hints of other things? So this is like mm. red velvet being actually just chocolate. Now that I'm like really getting into it. You're going to be shook. Watermelon grape? Nope. <laughs> but um, grape's a good guess though. Grape is a good guess. I don't know. Very homoerotic. Blue raspberry <laughs> is, a, is a combination of banana, cherry, and pineapple. Five. Fire, dude. Wait, so what? fucking good. I wow. do not get the banana or Makes pineapple. Makes sense because mm -hmm. banana, mm -hmm. I fucking love. Cherry, mm -hmm. I fucking love. Pineapple's my fucking favorite. Combine all three, bitch, we're having a party. I feel like that's not real. Maybe it's just in my brain now, but the second you said banana, I'm like, oh, I taste well, it. Well, dude, do you, what? I was like, you, you guys yeah. fuck around with big sticks? Yeah, my thumb. Oh, my fucking Cherry, bitch. pineapple, that's the flavor. You're right. You're right. And you know what? I'm not mad that they made up a fake flavor. I'm mad that there's not a purple fucking raspberry. I'd love to know what they made up for a purple raspberry. These people need to keep making flavors of. I, I want to try. I don't care raspberry. if it exists in the wild. I want more of these type of flavors. <laughs> um. Okay. So this is kind of a fun fact mixed with uh, a creepy fact. Mm. I don't know. It's not really a theory, but we're going with it. Okay, so Jack in the Box. <laughs> don't hate on Jack in the Box. I hate Jack in the Box. They're I want to try. Curly no, fries? listen. I love Jack in the Box. They're tacos that okay. have fake meat in them. I don't even like Stan Arby's, but they have better curly fries than Jack in the Box. Dude. You sound insane. Do you realize that? Dude, Arby's changed the I'm game when they started offering crinkle fries, though. Jack in the Box. It's only the best option at 2 a.m. when you're super drunk, and it's never even that great. And I will say, everybody has a story about somebody jerking off outside of a Jack in the Box. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't think I do. Really? First, I haven't heard one, but... First day I moved to L.A., me and Mom, we went to Jack in the Box, and there was a unhoused man uh, jerking off in front of it, and then he threw his helmet up. Like, <gasps> silence of the Wait, are you serious? Yep, and he was like, take it, take it. And mom was like, oh my, oh, oh sorry, you know, bless you. Like saying prayers over him while he's throwing cups. Um, I can respect that. Me too. <laughs> um, okay, so Jack in the Box, back in 1992, the E. coli outbreak. No biggie. Um, unfortunately, this is really sad. It killed four children <gasps> and infected over 700 people. Uh, it's known as the f uh, most infamous food poisoning outbreak um, in history. And a lot of the people still had side eff effects for years, kidney, brain damage. Like, it was really bad. And it was, inf it was uh, E. coli. This is like dark, dude. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was equal. It, it gets fun in a second. <laughs> Do, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Do we know what E. coli like is? Agent Orange over here. E. coli, it's like bacteria it's like poop but it was in the beef patties <laughs> e coli is, yeah it's a Dude, bacteria it's horrible it's horrible, it's horrible. It lives in so, the intestines of healthy anyways <laughs> so the reason i'm bringing this up is because jack in the box after this happened right they hired this guy to help them like fix the problem figure it out and also like there was some rebranding involved so what they did is jack in the box used to be a very like you know fun colorful restaurant that was you know just like kind of fun and whatever they rebranded to make Jack in the Box look more sterile. 
and clean. No way. Which, you know, gives off the impression of it's so clean here. It's so sterile here. Almost like hospital vibes, like laboratory vibes. <laughs> so that people would not even think that there could be anything gross in it. Because how could they ever put any E. coli or anything gross <laughs> in something so sterile, <laughs> clean? Isn't that crazy? Until you see some of the people working there. You know? <laughs> Oh. And you're like, Man, I don't care if you know this was a fucking lab. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. The crazy, the craziest part of it is that like because of this outbreak and everything that happened, they took it so seriously that they now have the strictest health codes in all of fast food. So like if you want to go somewhere where it's the cleanest food with nothing in it that's been tested over and over again, check the box. No What's way. their rating? Do all I know like is plus rating? that PR guy was a fucking genius. I never realized why I hated going inside Jack in the Box. Like there's one place I never want to go. It's inside of Jack in the Box. The lighting is crazy. It's so fluorescent and horrible. Everything is so bright and shiny and horrible. Like I hate going inside, but I love their fries. Taco Bell, love going inside. Colorful, fun, McDonald's. Nostalgic, Jack in the Box, fuck off. And it's because, yeah, they turned it into a hospital. I mean, have, when's the last time any of you have ever sat inside of a fast food restaurant? <laughs> I thought you were going to say sat inside of a hospital and <laughs> ate food. Yeah, I pretty much only do drive through when it comes to fast food in general. Well, I find it to be a treat when I'm able to, like, sit in a fast food restaurant and eat food and just people gaze, you know? <laughs> like, take a little time out of it. Yeah, just a little yeah, couple I'm minutes. Why not? I, I sat at Subway and ate a sandwich the other day. You know, right, I think yeah. that's something I want to do. Let's get a Jack in the Box, baby. Okay, so before we get to my favorite part of the show, which is Island's recap. I have a surprise for you. I have been keeping this a secret for a week. Mm. Beep, beep, bitch. Is there a Lamborghini Yaris in the driveway? <laughs> <laughs> no. Even better, there is our favorite TV character of all time in the driveway, and she has a special message. In the driveway? No, I'm just saying because you said the driveway. Oh, uh, I was about to get tingly. Okay, <sighs> here we go. Hi, Ryland and Shane. This is Maggie Wheeler. Thanks so much for requesting this cameo. And I just want to say, oh my God, congratulations. Ah! Married. <laughs> Maybe I'm a little behind the times, but you know, Janice loves love. Anyway, uh, I know that this is a request for me to say something for Ryland's podcast. So that is what I am going to do. Uh, here we go. Let me remember what it is that you want me to say. Okay, I got it. <laughs> oh my god, it's time for Ryland's recap. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> now, I am sad because I wanted to play that every time we do Ryland's recap, but I guess we're not allowed to. But maybe, you know what? Maybe Miss Maggie Wheeler uh, can come on the show and then give us her permission. That would be so cool. Yeah. She's so iconic. Okay. <laughs> Was so, that oh, expensive? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She'll be contributing to St. Jude. Um, oh. Okay. Her cameo was... Wait. Guess. How much do you think it was? Well, if it's for charity, we're going to say a cool 150 Wow. You overshot it. It was 130 Wow. 130 well spent. Thank you, Maggie Wheeler. And there you go, St. Jude. Ryland, bring us into that recap. <laughs> Episode of the Shane Dawson podcast, the shaved elephant graced the room. <laughs> oh no, that sounds Those so aren't my still. words. It's Those so are Shane's it's words. Still one of my favorite jokes to ever. That I like it. Horrible. Hey, that's from that's on you. Oh, oh, um, me and Jared have the same mouth. In creepy news, <laughs> uh, incestual brothers have the same shaped mouth. What kind of brothers? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's just a vibe that I sometimes catch. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Hold on. Mm. This just did. Not an incestual brother. <laughs> blue raspberry has pineapple and banana in it. Who in the it's fuck so would have thought blue raspberries didn't exist? <laughs> there's, there's banana in it. Uh, Come to it's find delicious. out, it's made of bananas. We've all gone bananas. Pineapples. An apple? Cherry. Well, I think you should do like puns. Like, you know how newscasters are like, we've all gone bananas over here over the news about. <laughs> okay. We're all going. <sighs> you, could, you could go. I'm blue raspberry, <laughs> making me bananas. Yes. Cherry on top. Yeah. Jared did it so good, I can't top it. Okay. Um, oh, robots are taking over. Oh, Nobody cares. Robot alert! They're taking over the world, and we're all gonna die. Oh, oh, CC, uh, CC, uh, prayers for CC. Oh, yeah, prayers. Hashtag. 
Prayers up for CC's lady. Prayers up for CC as we are fearing for her life. However, in a plot twist, the boys now may think CC might be the serial killer. I don't think I'm 70% there at this point. (laughs) Uh, Oh, we had our first big group fight. Oh my gosh, the the boys are fighting about viral dresses from five years ago. Is it white? (laughs) Is it gold? Is it blue or is it black? Happy birthday to Janelle. Oh yeah, happy yeah. 67th, Janelle. Happy 67th. She's a grower. She's a grower. She um, is. Oh, Jack in the Box has the cleanest food around, about jerking off on house people. <laughs> <laughs> in sterile news, Jack in the Box happens to be the most cleanly rated fast food restaurant. However, the exterior can't be said the same of. Don't eat the secret <laughs> sauce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Maggie Wheeler, Janice from Friends, Icon Queen. Ah, in Icon <laughs> Alert news, Maggie Wheeler has graced Rylan's recap. However, Cameo has strict rules not allowing us to play the snippet from the clip for Rylan's recap. Mm-hmm. Give, give a little, oh my. Oh my God. God. <laughs> wow, not bad. Oh, oh, KFC, he's just a tiny little man. Oh my <laughs> God. You will never eat KFC the same after discovering the logo is a man with a stick figure's body. Check it out. That was the most dramatic thing I've ever, you'll never eat it the same. <laughs> no, you won't. You'll, you'll never-, never taste the same. Um. <laughs> okay, well, on, on a real note, and, oh. uh, prayers for... Oh, yeah, in oh, actual man. devastating news, pray for Uno. We don't know what is exactly going on with him, but um, any thoughts or prayers for him are well welcomed. We're shooting this out of order, so this was probably a couple episodes ago, but thank you guys so much for all the love for Chris. The comments were so beautiful and sweet about your dad and all the prayers and people relating. Did you get a chance to see those or read any of them? Yeah, I've had a, a lot of people on like all over the place on Instagram and YouTube and stuff saying really kind things, and it, it means the world to me. Um, I believe... Uh, in the power of a lot of people coming together and like giving good wishes, prayers, whatever that is. I think, I, I hope anyways, that that has some kind of power and does something. And, um, and you know, my dad has been better in the last few days. Like he's been talking more normal and making jokes again and stuff. And um, it's just been the hardest thing and that means the world to me. So thank you so much. Yeah, thank you guys. We love you guys so much. Like I know it's cheesy to say that, but every time I post one of these podcasts, the comments are always so like, supportive but also cool and just sharing your stories and getting involved and like it's just really beautiful so thank you guys for everything sorry i took over your recap i know that's and now do the same for uno and now yeah please do the same for uno all right well there you have it for this week's episode of the shane dawson podcast make sure you're following us all on social media like listen subscribe get it wherever you get your podcast also get your shane dawson podcast merch at shane dawson merch.com and we will see you right here in two weeks on the shane dawson podcast Bye. Yay. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed whatever the hell this was. Fight edition, neon edition, uh, just a total disaster nightmare. You know what? I loved every second of it. (coughs) Thank you guys for getting our minds off of things for a couple hours. Well, that was a depressing ending. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, you guys. Hope we had fun. You'll never look at ducks the same again. And we'll see you next time. Ooh, Bye. they are cute. <laughs> <laughs>